Hey everybody, thanks for coming to check out the process video for my art journal. This is take two. I already did the whole thing once, but forgot to push record. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, I always start out by putting some baking paper underneath the pages that I'm going to work on because I don't want to get the pages underneath uh, gluey or paint on them or whatever. I'm just splotching down some acrylic paint, just various colors. I don't know, you could probably consult a color wheel and see what would look good together, but I just go with whatever. <laughs> Find an old card, an old credit card or gift card or something, and just use that to drag the paint across. I like this method because it's quick, it's easy, and I just like the effect that it gives. If I knew more, I would say some sort, some artist that it looks like, but I don't know that, so I thought, I wanted to cover up some more white space, so I added some yellow. The yellow here um, just kind of took over, which I'm not mad at. Uh, yellow is a happy color, and really this is just the background for my journaling and collage, so um, I really don't get too bent out of shape if it doesn't look exactly the way that I want it to. But I do like these colors together. It feels, it feels happy. And initially I was going to kind of set out to journal about my miracle morning journey and how it's been helping me. Um, but you'll see that it evolves as art journaling tends to do. Uh, I just took a paper towel and I'm soaking up the sort of excess paint. Um, it also plays the purpose of putting the texture that's on your paper towel onto your uh, paper, which is kind of neat. I'm deciding to do some stamping here. I've collected these stamps from Joann's and Michael's. I really like the Tim Holtz um, stamps and stencils. They're a little bit more expensive, but I really like them. And I'm using the Black Stays On ink. And I like that ink because it stays on. What do you know? It, you can paint over it, you can get it um, wet with watercolors, and it doesn't bleed. So that is a good quality of that ink. Um, a lot of other cheaper stamping inks will um, not stand up to art journaling. So I'm picking some stamps here. Like I said, I'm just creating a background here. I'm not really giving it a whole lot of thought. Um, these are uh, a bunch of like, it's a grouping of numbers that are all kind of different sizes. I really like it. Um, I don't have, I'm not a serious stamper, so if you stamp a lot, do not look at my technique. It is half-assed, to say the best. Um, and I don't have a stamping block. I just use the little piece of paper that the stamp came on. So I'm not, uh, I'm not gunning for perfection here. <laughs> and that's really not the point of an art journal. So um, that's just from me to you. If you're gunning for perfection in your journals, you're gonna quit because it's really not the purpose of it. It's about the process, not the product. Ooh, that was a good one. Congrats, Emily. Sometimes I even surprise myself. Uh, I have this uh, empty notebook. Well, it's not empty now, but it was just a composition book I got at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I just use, I put excess paint in there, like from brushes and excess ink on my stamps, because I don't wash those. I mean, who's got time to do that? And then um, sometimes I journal in it, sometimes I just do whatever. I, it's kind of junk. Um, I am using my stamp pad and kind of rubbing it on my paper just to kind of, I don't know, just do some more junk. I uh, picked another stamp. This is kind of like that number one, but it's uh, letters. And I also like that. It's probably two of my favorite stamps. Um, I don't know why. I feel like it just... <laughs> it captures so many things in my life because it just looks chaotic and busy, <laughs> which is how I feel a lot of the times. I really enjoy stamping, even though I don't know how to do it. I picked um, another one. I think this one says a quote. I think it has on it, um, I don't think I'd ever used it prior to this. It says, 
something to the effect of do something every day that makes you happy or something. I really just wanted the you happy part, so I just kind of put pressure on the bottom part and um, sort of got the, the word happy wherever I, wherever I wanted it. And then got some of these little uh, leafy balls. That's right, I said it, leafy balls. I read somewhere that the eye is pleased by grouping of threes. Uh, don't tell me if I, that might be complete baloney, but it kind of stuck with me. So now I sort of do groupings of threes of things, um, except for these leaves, which I just go ham and put all over the place. I like it if it's not a perfect stamp, too. Um, okay, now you're going to see how I like to collage in my art journals. I don't really plan it out in advance. Um, sometimes I'll just see something that sort of speaks to, I don't know, something I've had on my mind or feelings or something like that. And I just liked, in this case, just liked these words. Um, and... Oh, here she is, Zena. She is the first contestant in our glue stick thunderdome showdown and so we'll see how she performs today spoiler alert she did pretty good just spread that on and i like to use my um little junk notebook to spread my glue out because then i can get it all the way to the edge and i don't get my table all gluey just a tip from me to you spread that down see if we can get out all these little tape bubbles and uh, it ripped in half you can see which I'm not bothered by it just looks you know haphazard which is me in a nutshell <laughs> finding some more words oh you know what this strip is where the journal kind of took a turn it, it sort of changed directions for me it was I just took sort of a vignette of a big piece of paper um, that I liked and you can see at the bottom it's there's a guy sunbathing and at the top it looks like there's a person standing on top of a building it might be a cross I'm not sure but to me it just um, I don't know with the recent events it had more of meaning than I would have um, put on it before so it kind of took a mental health meaning to me like this person up here is struggling this person down here is you know relaxing and has no idea and we just don't know what we're all going through um, so that's what that picture sort of represented for me at the time I put down that picture of smashed cupcakes because I really like it it's sort of like you tried good job you tried that little wooden frame uh, is just scrapbooking things that I got at Michael's. I just thought they were super cute. And I did use Buell, the scotch glue, uh, because it said, if you remember, that it will work on wood. So I'm testing that out to see if it will stick that down to the paper. This is the little container that I put my um, collage scraps in. And I'm just rifling through it, seeing what tickles my fancy. And um, what I feel like... I want to slap down. Don't overthink it. It's always interesting to see what what I've collected in there because sometimes I forget I've even, you know, what I've thrown in there. It seems like junk, but then it always seems to find a home in my journal and be absolutely perfect in that place. So, it's funny how it works out. So I just pulled a variety of things and kind of glue those down. I believe this is Words Rise and Really Shine. This is um, appropriate because, I don't know, I think I was still sort of thinking about my Miracle Morning, but it was beginning to change in that rise and really shine in that you can when you sh really shine you can bring that to other people and help them by being your best self I think I put down the word balance here I really like 
the word balance. If I had to have a theme for my life, I feel like that word would be appropriate because I'm always struggling to find a good balance in um, everything that I do, pretty much. I tend to go whole hog or not at all, <laughs> so um, it's appropriate for me. And then those people hugging. Again, it, I was um, I was just struck by you know the recent events in the world, um, people who are struggling, who we had no idea that were struggling, um, and we wish that we could have helped them. But I liked that picture of a girl. She's it looks like she's journaling um, or doing art or something. Um, that's just a stamp that I got, I think, at Hobby Lobby in the clearance bin. Um, I liked the little girl that was journaling because, for me, that is how I rise and really shine. It helps me be my best self when I take time to do things like that, and I think we all need to. I found this little picture of a lady and a man sitting on a park bench, and she's holding an umbrella over the both of them. I ripped it in half because I just wanted to remember that we have to look around to see the people around us and if they need help. Um, we can't just be stuck in our own world. Um, you have to seek out those people that need, need an umbrella. I'm spreading uh, texture paste on my project. Texture paste just adds texture. What do you know? <laughs> Um, it dries and it just adds another element to your artwork. You can paint on it, you can add uh, acrylic inks. Um, I think it's really fun and you can just spread it over your stencils like you would paint. And it's really fun. Now I am looking at my Michael's uh, words. I think these are Tim Holtz brands possibly. Um, I love sticking these on art journaling and just regular journaling pictures. They're just little words and phrases that are great. And um, I, I don't know, I just always read through them and see if I think something strikes me. And I picked out a strip here. It says, few words passed between them. Uh, that was kind of going back to how I saw those two different people. They're existing in the same world, but in very different places. And few words passed between them. Um, even though one of them might have needed help. Um, the second one that I put down, I think, says, Do all the good you can. Again, along the lines of uh, helping people, putting away our judgments, and doing the good that you can. This third one, I believe, says, Grace Notes. And I love that because I believe that journaling is a way to give yourself the space to experience grace. You know, give yourself that grace. Um, and I think the last one says, put all my past away. Um, I think that journaling helps people do that. It, you put it on paper, your emotions, your troubles, your thoughts, and you can just kind of leave it there. You know, it's not gone forever, but you don't have to dwell on it. Good or bad. Um, this is where my junk comes in. This was just a um, uh, the card that came on the flowers that my parents got my daughter for her dance recital. And it says, uh, great job, Addie. We're really proud of you. Something along those lines. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. And to me, it was just another reminder of uh, letting someone know that you're proud of them and that you love them, how important it is. Um, here I am just putting the... Uh, date on my paper. I'm just stenciling it in. I like to date everything because I don't do them um, in order in my journal all the time. So I like to know when it was done. Uh, sometimes it doesn't look like a date. I just That looks like a series of numbers, but I know it's the date and I think it looks kind of cool. So that is how I did that. That is, um, I can't read, that's a Tim Holtz stencil got it from Michaels. Wait for coupons on the Tim Holtz stencil stamp sets because um, the Tim Holtz stuff is expensive on the whole. But like I said, I do like the look of it. 
now I am just pulled out a scrap of scrapbook paper and I'm doing some journaling. Um, I guess pertaining to sort of how my feelings evolved over this spread um, and what it was meaning to me. That's the thing I love about art journaling is you might think you're starting out at one place and end up somewhere completely different. And the process will be great and healing either way. Um, you just never know what your heart needs to ruminate on. Deciding where to put that little piece of journaling, I think I decided to just tip it in with a piece of washi tape along the edge. And then I decided to flap it around the edge like that um, and reinforcing that back side. That's another art journaling spread that I did, is recorded, so you can find that if you want. And then reinforcing on the inside. You got to do that so that it does not rip out. I think that's just about the last thing that I do um, in this journaling spread. I think I'm testing out that uh, glue stick there, seeing if it's actually sticking. It seems to be, so that's good. Oh, I had one little corner that I need, needed more glue on. And I'll give you a close-up of how it turned out. I really like this uh, journal spread. I think it turned out differently than I had planned and like I said it wasn't where I was going in the beginning but it got there in the end and when I look at it it will remind me of the things that I thought while I was doing it which was um, to be nice and to bring your goodness to the people around you in whatever form that that is. So I hope you guys have a great day and give journaling a try. Thanks. Bye.